Welcome to Fufa TV, the home of Ugandan sports. I'm Mwany Isaac Zake here at Bugolobi. Here at Bugolobi Coffee Ground, we are next host their games. It's March the 6th today in Fufa, a big league. We are going to see the boys from Luelo Triangle, those are Luelo United facing the neck in Kampala City, just here in Nakawa at Bugolobi Coffee Ground. It's a Fufa, a big league, March the 6th. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a game for today. It's a second game. Welcome from the game from Ginger. That was, uh, 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 that was Ginger North uh, facing Ajumani. Allow me to have Paul uh, Calvin Amugerwa uh, uh, from... Uh, from Luel United, we talk about uh, shortly about how is he pre how is he prepared for today's game. Coach, you're welcome to Fufa TV. Uh, thanks for hosting us, and thanks to the Fufa TV for hailing us. Yeah, uh, talking about your journey coming from Luel, coming to Kampala to face uh, one of the teams that have shown for the last uh, three games they had a good performance. You are coming here, Mbalala was here, he picked a point. Yes. So we are just prepared to face neck. So only that we are just going to put into consideration the three moments of the game. Are you so, yeah. Your last game, you won. Uh, are you ready to, to win this game? Yeah, we are ready to win the game. Okay. Thank you, coach. Uh, thank you, coach. That was coach Calvin Paul uh, from uh, the so-called Aluel United. Allow me to have a coach, a coach skills a junior, Aluchams uh, from NEC. We are going to talk about today's game as we are about to join uh, the commentary uh, box that is rolling. Uh, Lawrence Lusulile will be giving you more about that. A uh, coach, uh, let me have a uh, coach Luchams Junior uh, skills uh, talking about today's game. Uh, you had your last game losing two nil uh, to Chitala. Yeah. How are you prepared today? Yeah, we are set. We are set. Mobutu is back. He, uh, he, he had accumulated many cards at that time. He wasn't around. He's back. So we expect to have a good, a good game in the midfield. Yeah, I think we are set. We are set to play. Are you set? Uh, last game uh, when we are here with Mbalala, mm. uh, you talked about uh, the weather. Mm. Are you ready for for the pitch? Yeah, it hasn't rained yet. I pray it doesn't rain. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you, coach. Allow me to take you to the commentary box. That is Lole Lolis Lusulile will be will be giving you more four to five minutes. I'll be back in half time. Bugolobi Coffee Grounds is where we are this evening for match number 45 of March the 6th of the start times of FUFA, a big league action between NEC FC and Luero United. It is the first time both teams will be uh, locking horns in history as uh, NEC FC are on uh, the verge of uh, not uh, losing here at uh, their home ground that is at the Bugolobi uh, Coffee Grounds. My name is Ronnie Lusulire to take you through the 90 minutes of uh, the entire commentary here at the Bugolobi uh, Coffee Grounds. Of course, the match officials in uh, there for you, uh, led by the centre referee Biaruhanga, uh, Henry Barry, assisted by Namazi Miriam and Erasmus Turiatemba Maliru, and of course, the fourth official, Anna Akoi and the referee assessor Natabi uh, Harriet. Ronnie Lusuri once again is my name to take you through the entire 90 minutes of uh, this uh, highly anticipated encounter coming live on FUFA TV and of course live on all our social uh, media uh, platforms. Uh, from wherever you're watching from, of course, the weather conditions here at the Bugolobi Coffee Grounds, the temperatures are 23 degrees uh, Celsius in uh, here, uh, skippers of uh, both sides. Of course, uh, NEC FC skippered by the experienced uh, forward Marvin Kavma, and of course, uh, Luero United skippered by Enoch Kabugo as we await for kickoff uh, for this highly anticipated encounter. It is a meeting between third and sixth with three points separating uh, both sides with NEC FC seated comfortably in third position with uh, 10 points while Luero United are uh, seated in sixth place on uh, seven uh, points. Uh, prior to this encounter, NEC FC did lose their previous match and that was their first loss of the season when they lost to Chitara that are leading the log by two goals uh, to nil in a uh, hoima Luero united did win uh, their previous match after beating up on lugazi fc 1-0 it was at a uh, kasana luero uh, grounds a highly anticipated encounter it is uh, going to be uh, here as of course uh, the neck 
the FC side are uh, getting at uh, the final drills uh, prior uh, to uh, the kickoff. Don't in orange shirts and black uh, shorts, and of course, black stockings. That is the home side and uh, neck FC, while uh, the visitors, uh, Luero United, are uh, donned in all blue shirts and, of course, shorts and uh, stockings uh, for Luero United, having a moment of prayer and hoping for a better game uh, before a kickoff here at the neck. Rather, the Bukolobi a coffee grounds. That is the center referee uh, for you, uh, Biaruhanga Henry uh, Barry, the man who will be at the helm of this encounter uh, for the next uh, 90 minutes. The home side, Neck FC, of course, having a prayer uh, before a kickoff here at uh, the Bukolobi a coffee grounds. Uh, fans of the home side, of course, in stands on to cheer their side uh, that is on the verge that will be uh, aiming at returning to winning ways uh, after losing up on the previous match where they lost to Chitara by uh, two goals to null. It is the third match. Nek FC will be playing at their home ground here at the Bukolobi a coffee grounds and uh, it is important to note that they are yet to lose any match here at uh, their uh, home ground, uh, the Bukolobi uh, coffee ground. With the first one, of course, uh, coming against a uh, police FC, where they won by two goals uh, to nil. And of course, the last encounter they played here in front of their own uh, backyard, they did draw goalless against um, Barara City FC. As we await for kickoff action coming your way live on Fufa TV and of course live on all our social media platforms from wherever you're watching us this is the star times Fufa big league match number 45 and the referee Abiru Hanga makes no mistake to get us underway with a neck FC of course as cutting that a very encounter of course a soggy pitch it looks to be after a drizzles earlier on before a kickoff not the best uh, clearance here from uh, the neck defender the first throw in of the match falls to uh, the vistas luero united henry abujingo on this one let's see what this can yield a long one from uh, henry bujingo got control headed away it was in there fans of at the home side neck fc very passionate and joyful here at the bukolobi coffee grounds look at the dances angelo here chisa formerly at a pro line soccer academy because also a product of the futsa a super league here in uh, uganda neck fc trying to get a bright start onto this very encounter of course, the Vistas Luero looking solid in the, mi in the middle of the pack. Alan Tebusweke. It is Isaac Balejusa, but ball goes out again. And it's a uh, throw in for the home side, Neck FC. First time, both sides are locking horns in history. Of course, Neck having gained promotion from uh, the Kampala Region League, beating up on water in that uh, qualification final. Brilliant start it has been so far since they stormed the FUFA a big league. Currently seated in third position. Of course, important to note that three teams that finish in the first place, second and third, gain direct promotion to the start time, the Super League. That is the Uganda's most prestigious league, of course. Richard Ajuna doing one there to try and get past an opponent. Ball put in the middle of the pack. Great searching ball. Marvin Kavuma. Let's see what he can do. Marvin with a shot. Brilliantly blocked away. Great defending. That was a great shot from the skipper, Marvin Kavuma. Mr. Inspirational. Chisa with a long cross in here. Marvin. Ball goes out. First chance of the match falls to Neck FC. That was a sweet cross in here from Chisa. Look at this from Marvin. Trying to go for short. A ball brilliantly blocked by Boris Onegi. And again, that pass from the middle to Angelo. Look at this crossing from Angelo. And the header from Marvin. Angelo swings in this corner again. Ball cleared away by the goalkeeper, but not yet safe. Let's see. Impressive start from at the home side, Neck FC. 
Chisa loses possession here. Finally fights for it and puts that ball out for a throw in. Big chance wasted by the by the home side brother. I beg your pardon. With just three minutes played here at the Bogoloni Coffee Grounds. Match day number six and third game for Nek FC so far this season. Kutka Koza. Ball is put out for a throw in. Who decides to leave it for Chisa Angelo? Angelo with the long footy trying to find Kabama in brilliant controls, but body checked again. Goes down, but referee says there was no foul and signals play on. Neck regain possession. Angelo decides to go for cross, switches it from right to left to find Richard Ajuna. Plays one to Shamil Chimuero. Ajuna again with a cross in here. The assistant and referee had already raised the flag up for offside. An impressive start it is so far for a neck FC. That is the gentleman Julius Magu Kazibwe. Impressive uh, player so far in the five previous games Neck has played. Magu has been one of the players behind their great performances. Long one in here coming in. Angelo plays the back pass. The hole here from Angelo goes down. Let's see. And just in here for Luera. Then a chance. That was some clumsiness in defending from Angelo Chiza. A cross in here from the visitors. The ball just goes out for a goal kick. Very unlucky, Angelo, not to, in fact, very lucky, I beg your pardon, not to move away with a yellow card in that situation. That's the goalkeeper for Neck FC, Gene Brady Wokorach. Wokorach with that a long goal kick here, trying to find the skipper, Marvin. Let's see Magu. Brilliant back heel to try and find Kavuma, but the visitors regain possession. Alan Tebusweke launches in the long one. A ball goes straight to goalkeeper Jean Brady Wokorach. Starts it quickly to find Sulaiman Sesazi. Launches in the long one here. Headed away. Falls in the middle of the pack. Gavin Amobutu plays it back. Wait one to it is here. Isaac Paliajusa trying to go past. Let's see a shot in here again. A ball goes over the bar. The Vistas just love shooting from distance. This was a well built move here. Ball falling to Isaac Paliajusa trying to go past the forest of Alexia for or the Neck FC team. Deciding to go for short, but the ball wasn't well calculated. I must say, and it just went over the bar. Paliajusa again. Let's see. Baliajusa up again is Gideon Odong. Odong doing well there. What are doing well there? To ensure Baliajusa puts that ball out for a goal kick. Wokorat quickly starts it. To find Gideon Odong. Long one from Gideon Odong, but beautifully defended by Rashid Kanonia. Throw in it is here for the home side Nek FC. Odong to throw in here. Magu Gavin Mobutu plays it back again to find Angelo Chiza. Centers it from right, trying to find. Let's see. That was a sweet pass from Angelo. A chance for a cross in here. Beautifully dealt with and finally cleared the way. Alan Tebusweke here trying to. What's the best of passes from Tebusweke? Gavi Mobutu plays it back to the goalkeeper, Wokorach. Odong. Saint is a long one again. Neck in possession here. Options in the middle of the pack, but he decides to chip in that ball again. Not well weighed. The ball went straight into the hands of custodian Andrew Blair Aguma.
shot from distance again. With the best of shots as the ball just goes over the buffer, a goal kick. Passionate net fans with a Vuvuzelas in here trying to cheer up on the side neck FC. Mavi. Chance for a cross in here. That wasn't the best of crosses from Hood Kakoza. I was talking about uh, Neck FC, who have a number of experienced players they did sign in as the season transfer before the start of the season. Talk about uh, Richard Ajuna, who was acquired from Proline FC. Bags of experience he has, Ajuna Richard. Product of uh, the Proline Soccer Academy. Who started with the likes of uh, Nuruddin Bunjo, Joshua Okirol, Bright Enokani, Ajuna Richard. Part of the Proline side that won the FUFA. A big league, great experienced a player he is, Richard Ajuna. And of course, he went on to represent Proline in the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup in 2019 in Achigali, Rwanda, before playing in the Cup, the Confederation Cup. Huge experience, of course, looking at Kakoza Raja Balls from the bench there for NEC FC. Another experienced player, Richard Ajuna, with a shot in here. The ball goes straight into the hands of Blair Aguma, the goalkeeper for Luero. This was the movement again. A junior moving on the left. Look at this again. And a shot from distance. But the goalkeeper Blair just said, those are not kind of shots that can go past me. Thus, holding it comfortably. Post Paulista Mwonge in here. Making that foul. Odong with the long one. Headed away for safety. To throw in. Gideon Odong on this one again. Magu. Brilliant one to Ajuna Richard. Robbing on the left. Throw in. Ajuna. Odong. Magu. Ajuna. Chance for a cross in here. Lays in across Ajuna. The ball goes straight to. Blair Aguma, the custodian of uh, the Vistas Luero, United FC. Was talking about the five uh, previous games that both sides have played. Luero have managed uh, two wins, one draw, and of course they've lost twice. While the home side, NEC FC, have, of course, uh, managed uh, quite a number of wins. This is their sixth match. Only one loss that came in the previous match against Chitara. That are leading the log on a mission, of course, to regain promotion back to the Star Times Uganda Premier League. A league that is much focusing this season on building stars. The most prestigious league in Uganda. Ball cleared away. As we approach the 12th minute of uh, this encounter, coming your way live on FUFA TV and of course live on all our social media platforms. You can catch this action on, of course, uh, free to air decoders. For those uh, watching on Star Times, you can catch us on channel 252 via antenna and channel 39. That was a chance in here. Great searching ball to try and find the skipper, Marvin. Look at that long ball, well calculated. Not the best of clearances. Of course, that searching defense splitting pass. Henry Bujingo doing well here. Let's see. Look at this again. That was a well calculated defense splitting pass. Let's see if this corner can result into something fruitful in this encounter. As we approach the 30th minute, can Neck FC break the deadlock here? A way to see, of course, the custodian, Blair Aguma, throwing instructions. Boris Origi, player who features for Kampala in at the Fufu Drum. See what Angelo will do from this corner. Carls it in Angelo, not the best of corners. From Chiza Angelo. 
just like uh, Juna Richard Chiza is also a product of a pro-line soccer academy. Deployed at a uh, right back position for Neck FC. Said that has uh, so far uh, been impressive in their uh, debut season in uh, the starter is for Big Lea Cross in here. How did that fail to find the back of the net? Big chance squandered by Alan Tebusweke. Great crossing swung in by Isaac. Look at this. The defense of Neck FC need to up their game, especially when dealing with such aerial balls. Angelo, given his height, missing out on heading that ball for safety. And a chance again missed out by Alan Tebusweke. Angelo plays it back. Find the dog, clears it away. Searching for Marvin. Battle in the middle of the park. See Shamil Chimer doing well there to win a foul for Neck FC. Man at the helm of this match. Viaruhanga Henry Barry. Headed away by Senondia Rogers for a throw in here for Luero United. KG game it is with just a quarter of an hour played here at the Bukolori Coffee Ground. Both teams going pound for pound because they know the importance of this game. Three points separating both sides. And of course, it's a match between a third and a sixth place team with next fit in third position. And uh, Luero seated in sixth position. Throw in here, ball headed out. By Richard Ajuna. Referee says there was a foul throw. Now the throw in here is for Luero. Quickly starting to find Magu. Headed in the middle of the pack by Shamil Chimwero. Plays it back to uh, the custodian, James Abradi Wokorach. Long one from uh, Wokorach. Headed away. Ball briefly lands on Alan Tebusweke. Long one here from Alan Tebusweke. Foul committed by Gideon. Free kick in a sensitive area. Derek Mudali is the player who was fouled. With 16 minutes played here at the Bukolori Coffee Ground. Home team, Neck FC. Yet to find the back of the net, and so are the visitors, Luero United. Henry Bujingo with this free kick up from the left. Let's see. Quick here from Henry. The ball goes straight into the hands of Walker Ratch. No time to waste as he's trying, trying, trying rather to start this ball quickly. Cleared away by Eno Kabugo, the skipper of Luero. Plays it back to find. Sebiondia Rogers. See. Isaac Validusa trying to go past Ajuna. Ajuna doing well. Adjusting for a cross here. Cross well swung in, but the ball goes out for a goal kick. Wokorach calls. Giving instructions before taking the goal kick. Ball again headed away by Rashid Akanonia. For he says there was some bit of contact. Now it's a free kick for. Luero. Net FC need to avoid committing those fouls in such sensitive areas because uh, Luero are proving to be uh, gaining momentum from such a uh, safe pieces. And this might turn out to be their strength. And they will want to capitalize on such situations uh, from set pieces. Let's see tries to go for goal but the ball is not the best of of course free kicks and it goes out for a goal kick and Walker Ratch custodian of a neck FC six goals they have scored a neck FC 
in uh, this start times for big league course conceding a four goal making it two in terms of goal difference a junior richard of course but the best of passes long one it was and the ball just went out for a throw in for the vistas to Wero united as Sediondia of rogers gets set to take this one a long one from rogers headed away by odom finally a put out by david tony chiveru was quite a number of games going on across the country in match day six of the start times a football big league shall be giving you updates uh, coming uh, from different uh, playgrounds and stadiums all that on your home of ugandan sports fufa tv just in here marvin kavuma let's see what he can do from this move great passing to find magu lays it on the right to find hudka koza let's see gavi mobutu plays it on the left squares on the right let's see finally the ball is cleared the way KG game I must say it is so far 50 50 game so far it is great one two in the middle of the park Magu doing well to uh, regain possession for Snake FC Mavi trying to go past the skipper Eno Kabugo let's see Magu try and find Marvin Kavuma the winner corner here neck fc that is the first assistant uh, referee the beautiful lady uh, namazi uh, miriam corner kick for neck fc let's see if angelo can make it count this time round beautifully swings it in angelo of course the vistas defense doing well skipper can go clears that away richard ajuna turns back plays it to find his goalkeeper wako rach it's a bit of fumbling here from the goalkeeper wako rach cleared away by henry bujingo ball lands to alan tebusweke see alan tebusweke again but angelo was in the right place and th at the right time just kick that ball out for a throw in uh, for Luero United. Looking at the five uh, previous games, Nek FC have played. Throw in, in here, let's see. Trying to keep the ball in play to avoid the corner. Beautiful piece of skills here. Lose position in a sensitive area, cross in here. Let's see, Kabugo trying to control. A defense is so far doing well, a push in here, but had he gone down, who knows, the referee would have made a decision to probably award a penalty. He just here for Gavi Mobutu. Derek Mudal is doing well there to put the ball out. Ajuna Richard with a throw in. Kabugo. Ball goes out. Got that final touch before the ball went out. was from uh, a neck player Eno Kabugo Ajuna Richard plays it beautifully chance for a crossing Ajuna goes in for a cross Luwero rather neck FC here with a chance great swung in cross from Richard Ajuna but Magu missing to tap that in that was a big chance for the home side neck FC Great movement it was from the left. Look at that. And you know, taking time, raising his head high and lays in a cross for Magu. Only to miss out on the tapping. That was a chance. They will regret. If they don't get positive results from this encounter. Kavma. 
Magu. Never did fit the game well. He there to try and open up quickly for Magu. Did the way. Alan Tebusweke here tries to go for cross pass. Ball is blocked by Chiza Angelo. Back pass here from Gabi Mobutu. FC playing from uh, the back. They just like enjoying playing that free flowing football. Of course, uh, their credit has to go to their tactician, Luchamuzi Michael Skills, the German trained coach. Shot in from distance! The goalkeeper, Jeans Brady Wokowach, is forced into a save here. Look at this shot from distance by Isaac Baliajusa. Look at this, the ball bouncing there before. Wokorach pulling off that beautiful save for a corner for the Vistas. Let's see if Sebiondia Rogers can make this count from this corner. Beautiful attempt it was. Rogers with the corner for Luero. Swings it in, headed away for safety. The ball goes out for a throw in here for Luero United. Chiveru in there, of course. Very energetic and uh, a mad player Chiveru is. Throw in here. And again, it's Rogers to uh, take it. He must be, a, he must be one of a uh, set pitch a specialist. And again. Assistant, a referee, Erasmus, a Tuyatemba Maliro, saying there was a foul throw from Rogers. Headed away by Boris. Boris goes down in pain. This won't be good. Let's see from the slow motion, but that was a foul. That was a foul of Massey. Boris Onegi, player down in pain. Before the start of the season, Boris Onegi did conduct a trials with Uganda Premier League outfit so Tilo Bright Stars goes at the side and the new coach there in Asaf Amwebaze seemed to be interested before Luero United reportedly asked for 4 million shillings as a sign on fee which so Tilo Bright Stars weren't willing to splash on the player that's returning to Luero United Borigi very energetic and lanky defender he is one for the future, I must say. Boris Onegi. Richard Ajuna doing well there. Great one too. Between Ajuna Richard and Shamil Chimuero. Quickly. Ball started here. Look at this again. Very physical game it is so far. Ajuna Richard. Look at the form Ajuna. Doing well here, twisting and turning, commanding that a left flank for Nick FC, Richard Ajuna. Huge experience he has. Chimuero here, trying to find Magu. Ball headed away by Paulista Muwonge. Tebusweke. Henry Bujingo. The home side regain position. Angelo plays it back. To find Sulaiman Sesazi. Chance in here for the Vistas. Great block it was there from Gavin Mobutu. Ajuna. That was a foul. That's a foul. Let's see. That's a foul and a free kick. Great sportsmanship and fair play spirit it was there. Uh, from Chiveru. After fouling, of course, he knew he had committed that foul. That's way to the spirit of the game. And sportsmanship, of course, had to apologize. Nice one it was. Player with that free kick. Let's see, ball cleared away here. KG game, I must say it is. Magu raising high to hate that one. Kabugo. Long one it is here. 
as Kabugo is uh, trying to look for Isaac Palegusa, but the ball goes straight to Wokorach Abradiji. Long on here, let's see. Dealt with beautifully here. Tebusweke trying to go past Angelo. Angelo doing well there to put the ball out for the throw in for Luero United. It's a match day six of uh, the start time, a FUFA big league. And with more action, just like I said, taking place. Chance here for Luero. I do uh, think and believe Paulista Mwongi would have done better doing well there to go past his marker that should lack some bit of urgency and accuracy as well as power quite a number of games that is the German trade coach Luchamuzi Michael Skills giving instructions to Julius Maduka Zibwe Chiveru here doing well let's see and uh, player Sebilia Rogers does well to put the ball out for to be a corner or throw in. Let's see what the referee Zeru Hanga has to say in that situation. Looks to be a corner. Of course, Shamil Chimuero, the player getting set in that situation swing in this corner quite a number of familiar faces turning up to watch this match let's see where well lays in this corner let's see punched away beautifully by andrew blair still in play but finally headed away by the skipper eno kabugo chance here for a counter attack let's see derek mudali it's two against two let's see what they can do from this Gabriel Eragu lays in the cross, but Richard Ajuna, with that timely clearance, that was a big chance for the Vistas Luero United from a counter and a two against two situation. Look at this again. A cross in here from Gabriel Eragu and a timely clearance from Richard Ajuna. That was a big a clearance. Rogers with his corner. Corner from Rogers, headed away. Still not yet safe. Chimwero, chance for a counter for Neck FC. Chimwero, ball goes out for a throw in. Chimwero decides to leave it for Arjuna, and also Arjuna decides to leave it for Sesazi. Arjuna, Chimwero. Back to Sesazi. Long one in here. Rogers doing well there to uh, deal with that. And again, clearing the ball away to avoid the corner kick. Because they know the havoc Neck FC can cause from set pieces. Richard Ajuna. Chimwero back to Ajuna. Chancing for a cross from Ajuna. Lays it in a corner acrobatic kick here from Marvin. Oh, oh my God. Chance in here for that was a great a timely reaction from the goalkeeper James Brady. An acrobatic kick there from Marvin. It lacked some bit of timing. But the idea was top notch, I must say. Andrew Blair Aguma. With just two minutes past the half hour mark here at the Bugolobi Coffee Grounds it is still a goal left between Neck FC and Luero FC rather United FC I beg your pardon Chiberu trying to go past the marker glazing across but again Rogers doing well there to put that ball out after that deflection for a corner Shamil Chimuero another chance for Neck FC to try and break the deadlock here Ball getting out of position. 
Chimwero with the corner for Neck FC. Chimwero lays it in. Just in here for a header. Marvin has his effort go over the bar for a goal kick for Luero United FC. Three goals to his name so far this season. Uh, Marvin, which makes him the leading scorer for uh, Neck FC. Was with his three goals that makes him four goals shy of uh, the leading scorer Patrick Henry Kadu, who turns out for the leaders Chitara FC. More action are uh, taking place across uh, different parts of the country in a match day six talking about uh, more action that is taking place. We shall be forced at telling you Jinja United was the first game that uh, was played at 2 uh, p.m. in Jinja. We shall be uh, giving you results uh, from that match. Of course, in uh, other action, Lugazi FC is taking on Soroti. Chetume taking on Northern Gateway SC. Calvary taking on Barra City FC Police FC. At Kavumba uh, hosting Ndeje University, Boma taking on Karo Karunji, Kataka FC taking on Chitara, and of course, in the other action will come on the 20th. Chetumi will be playing Adumani Town Council. Referee signals play on just for Mavic. Oh, this is nasty! This is nasty, and a book of offense. That was nasty. The first booking of the match. Shown to Rashid Kanonia. This was it again. Oops, this was nasty. This was nasty. And a bookable face. Great call from the referee. Great call from the referee. And now another chance for Neck FC to try and break the deadlock here. In the last 10 minutes of the first stanza. Remember the last game they played here in front of their own backyard. They did draw goalless against Barra City. Winning 2-0 against Police FC. The first match in the first match where they played here. Chance here for Neck FC to try and break the deadlock from a free kick. Marvin in. Of course, deciding to go for sure but it goes out for a goal kick a confirmation of a yellow card displayed to Rashid Kanonia the jersey number three for Luero United FC goal kick here as player Aguima gets it to take this one player with the long one from a goal kick Arjuna Richard trying to keep this ball in place, sprinting to keep it in play, but it goes out for a throw in. Rogers with the throw in here. Great body checking here for, look at that. Huge, loads of confidence in the left back line. Arjuna Richard with the cheapy ball here trying to find the skipper, Marvin Kavuma. Marvin against Rogers. Timely sliding tackle it was from Rashid Kanonia. Talking about Marvin, very inspirational player he is. Three goals to his name. A product of, of course, Kamocha United before he transferred to KJT. Talking about his academy football, he started at a Spartan 09. Marvin Kavuma. During his school days, of course, uh, he had a tug of war with his family as his uh, parents didn't want him to play the beautiful game of football. Of course, he has also uh, featured captain he was when Abudu were winning the last edition of uh, the Masaza uh, Cup. Marvin here in the middle. Marvin here! Great bender it was from Marvin. 
just went over the bar. Kavuma Marvin, inspirational lad he is. Look at this again. Bends it. Very unlucky for his effort to go over the bar. Goalkeeper Andrew Blair Aguma trotting off the pitch here. He getting instructions from the assistant coach for rather the coach for Luero Mugewa, Calvin Paul. Enter the last six minutes of the first stanza here. Player warming up here for NEC FC. Bonnie Okaya is the gentleman warming up here. Blair, of course, using this chance to take a sip of water as a way of hydrating here at the Bugolobi Coffee Ground. Situation looks to be fine and stable now. The game restarts. Player with a long ball kick here. Table Stweke trying to go past Angelo. Plays it back to find Bujingo. Loses possession. Mago in the middle of the pack. Mago doing well there to win position again. Options on the left. Lazy to find Richard Ajuna. Mago opens up, asking for that ball. Kavuma and Magu. Poor communication between Magu and Kavuma. Finally, Wero gain position. Foul in here committed by Chiberu. Referee Beruhanga telling him to calm down. Fair play gestures again from Chiberu. Sprinting back there to the foul Enoch Akabogo, the skipper for Luero United. Cleared the way. Headed the way by Kanonia. Crossing here, trying to look for Marvin. Flicks it here in the middle to find Chiberu in the box here. Chiberu goes for short. That was great pressure that was put on him by Boris Onegi. And again, Boris goes down in pain. This was a long ball in. And that flick of a header from Kavuma to Chiberu. Look at this. But the pressure from Boris Onegi was fantastic. That's forcing Chiberu to get his effort over the sky. This won't be good news. This won't be good news for Luero. As Boris goes down, goes at the Dr. Wamala Samuel coming on the pitch here to try and give the necessary uh, medical attention to Boris Onegi. Goal kick quickly started by Andrew Blair and Guma. As we enter the last three minutes of the first stanza, we still neck FC goalless. Luero United FC goalless. Action coming your way live on FUFA TV and of course live on all our social media platforms. look at this again having options to play that ball forward but deciding to play it back look at this again referee says there was no foul position lost in the sensitive area paulista muwonge richard ajuna let's see what he can do richard ajuna doing well in there richard again is gabriel eragu Magu Kaziwe plays it in the middle of the pack to find Gavin Mobutu. Plays it on the right of an Angelo back to Mobutu. Beautiful tic tac football here we are witnessing from the home side Neck FC. Long throw in from Kakosa trying to find a Chiveru. Gain a Boris. 
finally finds his way back on the pitch. Again, doing well there to beautifully take care of Achiveru. Headed the way. See, the ball just swings in this, uh, but the ball just goes out for a goal kick to enter the last one minute of uh, the first stanza here at the Bogolobi Coffee Ground. Angelo plays it forward with the long one, but ball goes out for a throw in for Luero United FC. Henry Bujingo. Throws it forward. That header from Derek uh, Mudali just goes out and now a throw in for the home side. Angelo. Great a chest control from Kakouza. Trying to find Marvin. Again, Roger doing well there to shield Marvin uh, for his uh, custodian. Blair to come and easily uh, collect that one the way I was a foul committed by Enoch Kabogo the skipper for the Vistas and the Wero Ricky Kiev quickly started by great control here from a foul in here I was a foul Angelo combining with his teammate Hutka Koza to bring down Tebu Sweke. Of course, a confirmation of additional time in uh, the first stanza is uh, two minutes indicated by the fourth official, Anna Akoi. Henry Bujigo with a free kick. Headed the way. Let's see. Chiro against Bujingo. Bujingo doing well there too. Dummy shadow achievable. And now the ball is out for a throw in. Look at this again. Chance here for Luero to try and break the deadlock. Richard Ajuna. Ajuna on the move. Roving from the left a flank. Richard Ajuna. Look at the energies. Look at the one. Raises his head, lays it across. Chance in here! Great run it was from Richard Ajuna from the left. Taking on his markers. Coming down after greatly concentrating. Raises his head up, lays it across. But that header from Chiveru just went out for a goal kick quickly started in what looks to be the final chance in the first stanza. Marvin Kavuma trying to go past Rogers. Let's see. With just a few seconds to end the first stanza. Rogers with a throw in. Ball lands to Gabriel Eruagu. Greatly cleared the way by Suleiman Sesazi. Eruagu with the throw in for Luero United FC. Eruagu. Look at this ball is cleared away again. Chest from Chiveru. Cross in here. See. Great one to it is. Mobutu. Plays it to find Angelo. Huge confidence here from uh, the NEC FC team. The defense line is uh, full of confidence. Angelo plays it to find Suleiman Sesazi. And the center referee, Beruhanga Henry Barry, does not mistake to end the first answer here at the Bugolobi a Coffee Grounds. Action uh, from match number 45 between Neck FC and Luero United. It is a first half that has been uh, so cagey quite a number of chances but not clear chances got by both sides neck and Luero but of course uh, both uh, defenses looking to be solid dealing with all uh, threats caused by either side at halftime it is neck FC nil Luero 
United FC and Neil. Stay tuned to FUPA TV. Of course, we are here at Bugolori Coffee Ground, where Nick is hosting their game. Uh, this is match day six uh, for uh, a big leech here at Bugolori Coffee Ground. Nick, they are hosting uh, Luel United from the Luelo Triangle. The game is still 0-0. Zero -zero. No one has seen a, a goal a going in a net. Uh, of course, we are in the first half and uh, we are coming back for the 45 minutes. Of course, how when you see the game, how we, the game is moving, the game is so tight. It team uh, is playing so much to see that they at least they gain a point. Uh, to, uh, to looking uh, behind from their last games, uh, well, uh, they won their f their last game when beating Lugazi. It was one nil in Luelo. They were hosting that was match day five. And uh, talking about Nick, their last game. They were visiting Chitala. They are in Masindi, where they lost a uh, two-nil uh, to Chitala. That was their first uh, loss uh, in this uh, season. Because when you see how they have played for their last uh, five games, they have won uh, two games, uh, making a draw and losing one game. Talking to Luelo, they have managed to win uh, two games, lose, uh, making a uh, one draw and losing uh, two games. So uh, you see their performance, at least Nick, they are somehow high on their performance. They were trying to fly high, but now they are sitting in the third position with just 10 points behind Mbalala City with 11, go 11 points and uh, the so-called Chitala with 13 points. Will they manage uh, to get these points back to sit on the top? Because when they win at uh, this game, they will go straight to the 13 points. Allow me to have the CEO uh, from NEC. We talk about uh, this game, how he's seeing the game, and of course how NEC is going to be uh, prepared for the next uh, coming fixtures. Welcome to Pufa TV. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah. Uh, your name, first of all? I'm um, Sakari Rajab Ahmed, the CEO of NEC. 
Yeah, I see all uh, uh, Mr. Rajab uh, talking about how NEC is prepared. They started their fixtures uh, this season well, performing, uh, winning uh, mo some of the teams that we, we can talk about, like police, uh, the way the administrative, the way the smartness on the, on the pitch are uh, they addressing, the way people are seeing it, they have more hopes about NEC. Yeah. Yeah, NEC, we are organized the organization. We have prepared this team. We are ready to fight for the future in the Premier League. We have uh, accumulated 10 points. We have played some teams like Mbarara, which we drew 1-1. Police, we beat them. Ndeje University, we were beaten by Chitara. And now we are playing well. We are well prepared. We are just waiting for the next match. Uh, could we say that uh, your plans are like uh, the way we saw Gaddafi coming to Uganda Premier League? They started from a legion, uh, going up to big league. Now they are playing a uh, second season in Uganda Premier League. Could that be the focus for Nick? Yeah, that is our program. If willingly, if God wishes. And we are willing to make it to the Premier League. Okay. Uh, the preparation uh, in the management, the way we see the uh, neck being so much organized, uh, you can even compare it to some big teams in the Uganda Premier League. How have you managed to say that you can prepare? Because we know uh, this is an organization uh, whereby some uh, clubs from organization have totally failed. First of all, I thank FUFA for organizing such a tournament. We are uh, First, we have the love of the game. That's our major program. We, ha we have to love the game. Then we get motivating the players and uh, we facilitate them. We give them salary. We even get some good technical committee like the coaches, like uh, Scales, Michael, Ichams, mm. is uh, somebody who came studied in German, then he came here and he added on. He's a very good coach. Then you Sam Yaba, the assistant coach, and the good keeping coach, Buma, Muada Buma. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, CEO. Uh, we shall talk more after the game. Yeah. Uh, you are live on FUFA team. FUFA TV, the home of Ugandan sports. This is March the 6th, uh, Luel, ho, Luel visiting the so-called neck here at Bugolobi Coffee Ground, just near here in Kampala, in Nakawa, the center of uh, Uganda, the Kampala city. You can pass by and watch the more 45, the coming 45 uh, minutes uh, with Lawrence, uh, with my colleague Ronnie Lusulide, giving you the next more 45 uh, minutes in commentary. Allow me to take you back to, uh, to Ronnie Lusulide. I'll be back after the game.
you back from uh, the first half here at the Bugolobi uh, Coffee Grounds. Action between uh, Neck FC and Luero United uh, FC. A uh, KG first half, it was that so both sides uh, share spoils in a stalemate uh, first half. Uh, second half, highly anticipated here at the Bugolobi uh, Coffee Grounds as we await uh, for uh, the second half to get uh, underway. Of uh, course, the Luero United uh, goalkeeping coach, uh, Kato Ramadan, taking his uh, custodian, Andrew uh, Blair Aguma, uh, through those uh, drills so that he can be fresh for the second half. Here are uh, some of uh, the Luero United players, of course, making those uh, warm ups before kickoff of a uh, second half. And now, this is the next side. Luero coach, uh, Mugirwa, uh, Calvin Paul. Was, uh, having a word with his assistant uh, Mussoli Patrick, match officials led by the centre referee uh, Biaruhanga Henry uh, Barry, with his assistant uh, referees uh, Namazi uh, Miriam and Erasmus uh, Turiatemba Maliro. We are waiting for kickoff here for uh, the second half. Start match for Nick FC here in front of their own uh, backyard. Member the not yet lost any game uh, here at the Bukolobi Coffee Grounds, managing to beat upon police at 2-0 in their first game they played here at the Bukolobi Coffee Grounds before drawing goalless against Mbarara City FC. Can they bounce back to winning ways, having lost their previous match against <coughs> current leaders Chitara FC? This is a match they will need to get back to winning ways, and that man that is jumping over the skipper just number eight Marvin Kavuma is uh, the man they will be hoping for inspiration if they're to get positive results in this encounter waiting for second half kickoff at the center referee Berhanga gets us underway with a uh, United here kicking off proceedings for the second stanza chatting here looking for a quick uh, response here in the second stanza still a goal is here at the Bukolobi coffee grounds player starting it quickly uh, Richard Ajuna the nice clearance in there not the best of controls from Gavin Mabutu a cross in here let's see brilliant punch away from the custodian a walk of rush counter attack here for neck Ajuna Richard beautifully roving going past his marker great pass from Ajuna but again, the forward line didn't anticipate that one and pass from Ajuna. Clearance again from Blair Aguma. Wokorach again, raising high to easily collect that ball. Looking for options, of course. Um, Chiza opening up. This is the tactician of a uh, neck FC. The German trained uh, Luchamuzi Michael Skills. Magu. Great chance in here from Kavuma. Referee says there was a foul committed by Magu. And now a free kick for Luero. It's one minute into uh, the second stanza. This is match day number 45 of match day six. In the third times, a FUFA big league match uh, between a third and a sixth uh, placed uh, team Borigi Onegi or rather Boris Onegi I beg your pardon with that long free kick just in here ball goes over the bar that was a nice attempt from uh, Luero United Michael Skills not a happy man here long one here from Chiza Angelo headed away by Boris Mobutu, back to Angelo, Mobutu, Angelo, Mobutu in the middle of the pack here for Neck FC, plays it back in a square way to find, look at that again, great passing, plays it back to his goalkeeper, that was Shamil Chimuero, now Sulaiman Sesazi, Long one, but again goes straight to the goalkeeper, Walker Ratch, Jeans Brady. 
Mokoraj telling his uh, troops to go forward. Magu. Chiveru. Magu. Brilliant piece of skill for Magu. Trying to look for Kavuma, but again, the defense of Bor is doing well to clear the ball away. And a free kick again after Magu being fouled. We need to be very careful, especially when committing those fouls in such areas. Let's see what will result from this free kick. With just three minutes into the second stanza, Pastodi and Andrew Blair free kick here but headed away we have control in here look at that again finally let's see physical contact it is here KG KG game just like it was in the first half it is proving to be again KG in the second half did you not dong with that throw in with the best of throw ins how could he do that or don't with the best of throw ins, of course. And Wero Bench, of course, having Abdu or Karim Kasule, one of the experienced players in the team of Wero, formerly at Sports Club Villa, formerly at Wakiso Giants. Abdu Karim Kasule remembered in that season where KCC played with SC Villa in the Stanbic Uganda Cup finals number of years back in Antungamo before the game was ordered to be a replay again at Nambole with Villa winning that a final after Kalim Kasule was a darling in that SC Villa team chance for a counter-attack here cleared the way for safety headed away by Sesazi this is a match, almost a fast meeting between both sides. We enter the 50th minute mark here. Isaac Baljajista plays it to find Tebu Sweke. Goes in for a cross, but again, Woko Rush doing well there. Magu here. Long one for Magu. Trying to find Chiveru. That was a quite long. Another experienced player here for Nek FC. Rajab Kakoza, formerly at Onzu Parwaka, just like Abdul Karim Kasule. Rajab Kakoza also had, has huge bags of experience in there, having featured for quite a number of teams in the Star Times Uganda Premier League. Onzu Parwaka, and now the defunct Lueza United FC. Long one here trying to find the skipper, Marvin. Rashid Kanonia doing well. All uh, balls are intended to go to Marvin right from uh, the defense of uh, NEC FC. But I do believe the Luero United a team must have done fantastic preparations prior to the match. And that is why Marvin Kavuma so far is somehow uh, silenced by uh, the Luero defense. Richard Ajuna here. Was Chiveru, rather, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Boris <laughs> to take this free kick for <laughs> the Vistas <laughs> Luero. <laughs> Boris <laughs> takes a long one here. Beautifully headed away by Angelo. Magu. Back to Angelo. Ball and goes out. Lots of confidence from uh, the NEC FC defense. Some situations where one would think uh, they would be clearing those balls up front to search for Kavuma. He decided to go for those uh, short passes. And at the time, they end up uh, not yielding any uh, fruits in here as Arjuna lays in a beautiful low pass to a uh, fine Kavuma. Again, another cross in for Kavuma, but again, a ball is doing well to clear that away for a throw in. Ajuna quickly starts it to find Magu, beautifully controls with his chest. Again, ball goes out for another throw in. That was beautiful defending from Agabion Eragu. 
Great one to Odong. Out for a throw in this time for the Vista of Luero. Royals on this one now. Quickly finds Gabriel Eragi. Rogers clears it away up front. Kane assessors it doing well. Shamil Chimwebo. Good up position in the sensitive area. Look at that again from Luero. I believe the people all over Kasana, all over Wobulenzi are enjoying and so far proud with their team. Look at this again. Decides to go for short. Not yet safe again. Neck fighting for possession. Luero in a sensitive area. Let's see. Finally, the ball is cleared away for safety. Lands to Marvin Kavuma. Has option on the left here. A long one here still trying to find Magu. Marvin, not a happy man. He believes he was fouled. He believes in that movement he was fouled, but the referee, Gero Hanga, didn't see that. And he says there was no foul. Long one in here. Good chest control. Pass to find Isaac Paliajusa. Look at this again. Finally, neck regain position. Don't know why Nick can't hold that ball for quite a number of minutes. They easily look lose position for reckless in the middle of the park. Angelo. That was a handball. A bookable. A bookable and I must say in some situation, he will be very lucky to move away if he's not cautioned. Just like course he has moved away. Oh, some clumsiness in defending here. Some poor clearance from uh, but finally, Rogers clears that away. That was a poor clearance from Gabriel Iragu. Now a throw in quickly started by Ajuna. We find Chimwebo lays in the long one, but ball not well calculated, and it goes out. It had a leak of a touch from a Luero player. Now a corner kick, and they make it count. Let's see. Great corner in here. A header! Let's see a beautiful save from the custodian. That was another chance for Nick FC to break the deadlock here. With just 10 minutes played into the second stanza. How did that miss? And now a counter attack for Luero. Let's see. Chance in here for Isaac Palajusa. Shamil Chimo doing well there to shield Isaac Palajusa off. This was the corner wheel swung in. A header initial one from Magu. And again, Chiveru. But the goalkeeper, Andrew Blair Aguma, doing well there. Look at this corner again. Big chance squandered by the home side, Nick. They will surely regret this if they don't gain a maximum points from this game. Great control from Isaac Palajusa. And again, ball is out. This was the corner again. That initial header from Magwan. The never following header from Chiberu. Beautiful save from Blair Aguma to keep Luero still in this game. Just in here, but Walker right again reacting well to come and tame that. Angelo. Centers a long one. Just in here for Magu. Ball is doing well there. Still not safe. Finally, the ball is cleared away for safety. Great control from Baliajusa. Plays it on the right to find Gabriel Ragu. Lays in the cross. Headed away by Sesazi. And we're on the attack. Look at that. Twisting and turning in the middle of the back. Just for a cross in. Hits the crossbar. That was sweet from. Oh my god, Abdul Kasul on the bench can't believe that has failed to find the back of the net. That was sweet, I must say. Twisting and turning in the middle of the pack and decide to go for short. Look at this again from the skipper. Oh my word, look at this from the skipper. Endo Kabuko, look at this twisting and turning, going past the forest of legs, goes for short. Ooh la 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 la. Unbelievable. How did this miss to find the back of the net? Best chance so far of the game. With Luero having a free kick right again here as we approach 
the half rather the hour mark here at the Bukolobi Coffee Grounds. A player down for Luero, rather for Nek FC, I beg your pardon. Player down in pain. This will be a reliever for Nek FC to try and cool down from this. I was a hilarious attack, I must say. Had that goal crossed the back of the net, had it found the back of the net, believe me, it was going to be one of the best goals. It was going to be one of those goals that would probably be played on the airwaves of FUFA TV on numerous occasions. Look at this again, twisting and turning. Not yet safe here. Chance for Luero. A cross in here. Finally, he's put out for a corner kick for Luero by Richard Ajuna. That's here for Luero. Who look to be more lively in the second stanza than they were in the first stanza. Of course, as the first assistant referee, Namazi Miriam, telling Tebusweke Alan to put the ball where it's supposed to be. Tebusweke with the corner. Can he make it count? Can he make it count? Cross in here for Tebusweke. Header. That effort from a Derek Amudali going in the skies for a goal kick. Woko rush quickly, takes the goal kick, looking for Marvin. Kabu go in the middle of the park. The skipper looking lively in the second half. Tebusweke, Angelo doing well there, trying to keep the ball in play. Finally wins possession, Angelo centers it very long to try and find Chiberu. Putting go Henry. Great uh, defending there from Sesazi. Ajuna. Marvin Kavuma. Chimwero. Where we gain possession. Chance in here in the middle. Let's see why, how we can control it. And they're doing well there to backtrack that movement. Richard Ajuna. Played uh, so much as an attacking a winger in the first half. Now it looks like he has been deployed back in his favorable position. That is at the left back position, Richard Ajuna. Triple substitution for Nek FC. As we shall uh, confirm to you, Sekai and Julius, of course, getting set to come on. Magu is off. Julius is on. As we shall uh, confirm to you, a triple substitution. The first uh, substitutions from this game, a triple one for Nek FC, and of course, uh, the Vistas Luero also getting set to make their first substitution as a Regan Mukwaya gets set to come on. Richard Ajuna starts that one from a throw in. Chance here for Nek FC. Ball cleared away, but still in at the enemy's territory. Chance in here. Of course, Chimuero's shot is not the best of shots. The ball just uh, goes out for a goal kick. Chimuero was greatly closed in here. Of course, uh, the player who was just paved way is a Paulista, a Mugonge, a Poluero, and Regan Mukwaya, the player who has come on at the field of play here. It's just two minutes past the hour mark in this encounter. Time is not the best ally for Nek FC. They need to get back to winning ways. Marvin Kavuma, the skipper. Ball is cleared away. Physical battle, it is in the middle of the park. We see Chimuero being a pull. The referee 
Deze was a foul. Great goal from the center referee. The bar handling the game so well. He was at the helm of this game. These are the top fish of the court. As for Nek FC, Kajue going up and Odong, Okoya and Malugebe coming on. Ajuna Richard. Chiveru, Ajuna. Chance for Ajuna. Look at this from Ajuna. Beautifully backtracked by uh, the Luero defense. Look at this again. Oh, this is unsporting Amase. And yet again, uh, Chiveru. In the spirit of a sportsman, some unfair play. Coming to ensure the situation stabilizes. Long goal kick for the uh, two goal kick started here. We'll go straight to Walker Rush. No time to waste. He quickly attacking. Great distribution from Walker Rush. Chance here for let's see. Beautiful piece of skill here. From the new start to Farouk Sekai. Sekai Farouk. Pesty player he is. Go in here for Neck FC. Angelo. Chance here in the middle of the pack. Option in the middle. Look at this again. Chance for a cross in here. Oh, ooh la la. Very, very unlucky in there. Chimuero, unlucky in that situation. Quickly sacked it. Sekai. Table Sweke. Longbo here, great control it is. Another confirmation of a substitute here. For Nek FC, Kakoza out, Sekai in. Angelo. With that throw in here, Sekai controls, but it's the best of controls. Cabo go. Sekai. Tebusweke. In a battle with Julius Walugembe. See if Boris can try to keep this in play. Finally, it goes out for a throw in. Time is not the best ally for Neck FC. They badly need this goal to try and probably get in front. And who knows? A cross in here from Angelo. Let's see. Chiveru, if he can try to keep this in play, he does it successfully. Ajuna Richard plays it back again on the left. Ajuna to find Vonnie Okoya. Another substitute for Luero, rather for Nek FC. Sekai, let's see if we can keep it in play. Quick away player is Sekai trying to dummy one. Damn it, look at this from Sekai. <laughs> look at the good one between him and Marvin. Sekai with options here tries to shoot and appeal for a penalty, but the referee says there was no handball play. Well, now Table Sweke, the pesky Table Sweke for Luero, plays it here to find his uh, Balejusa Isaac, but of course the defense there for Nick doing well. Sekai here pushed and a foul. Great call again from the center referee. Sekai is packing in more fire in this encounter for Nek FC. Look at this again from a Sekai. Great control from Sekai. Pushed and a foul for Nek FC. Chiveru. Doing well to a win position. Very energetic player is a Chiveru. Aim uh, to try and find Jack in here in the middle of the park. Headed away by Rogers. Again, headed away. Look at this again. Gavin Mobutu is brought down. Before he's telling the Luero players to calm down, to cool down the temper. See what Sesazi can do uh, from this free kick. Sesazi. Sent as a long one, says Sazi. Just in here for Marvin. Just for Marvin! You need goals! That is the man, Mr. Inspiration, the inspirational skipper, Marvin Kabuma, breaks the deadlock. Bukola Coffee Grounds is on fire. That man, Luciamo's in Michael Skills, is now a relief man.
Marvin breaks the deadlock to score his fourth goal for NEC FC this season. 1-0 it is. That is the goal they were looking for. And guess who? The main man makes no mistake to break the deadlock. That was a long pick again from Cesazi. Marvin capitalizing on that mistake in defense. Look at this again from the goalkeeper. Marvin breaking the deadlock. Mr. Inspiration. Sensational strike from the skipper. Leading by example. 1 0. Guevo trying to find the level here quickly. Just in here. Let's see. Player goes down. Let's see if Luero can get an equalizer in here. Chelsea now, look at this again, long through Sachin Bo. Chiveru has options to play with Sekai, across in here, greatly defended, not yet a first chance! Marvin on the press, two for Marvin, Luero, zero. That is the goal now, it looks that nothing. It looks done and done. Look at the dance. Look at this. Bukolovi coffee ground is on fire. That is the man. The main man, Marvin Kavuma, doing no mistake to get his brace. 2 0 it is. That was a special strike from the skipper. Yet again, just in a space of two minutes, Marvin doubles the lead for Nick FC to get his brace. Look at this from. Chiveru, another lapse in defense, and Marvin does no mistake. Look at the strike, a world class strike from a big inspirational player, Marvin Kavuma. This looks to be done and dusted. Marvin plays it back. Richard Ajuna. Juna roving on the left. Look at Ajuna. Look at that. <laughs> that was a sweet run from Ajuna. We are trying to get into uh, this game. <laughs> Interesting one it is. Goes the referee. Just like he has been handling this match. Telling the next players to calm down. Wait for this free kick from Rojan. Let's see if they can uh, try and find a goal number one to get hopes of probably getting results from this match. Chance in here. Looks like an offside. And yes, that's the call from the referee. As uh, that a gentleman by the name of Henry Bujingo was in the offside position we enter the last 20 minutes of this encounter. In a space of two minutes, Mavin Kavuma has changed everything in here. Chiveru. Look at this again from the substitute Julius Owalugembe. I must say, the triple substitute that Nek has made really impacted on uh, this match. From the likes of Asekai, from the likes of Awalu Gembe and Bonnie Okayo. Believe me, they've done well so far. And that is the reason Nek are in the lead. Remember, they have never lost any match in front of uh, their own backyard. This is uh, their sixth game. And with three goals so far, they have scored. That means they have so far scored eight goals in this start times a FUFA big league season. Long one coming in from Henry Bojingo. Goalkeeper Walker Rush doing well there to easily collect that one. He knows they are in the lead. So no need to rush, rush rather. Starts it quickly to fight Bonnie Okoya. Look at this again. Luero, Captain Kabugo, doing well in the middle of the park. Very intelligent player. Now look at that cheeky pass from Kabugo. That was sweet from Kabugo, but well, beautiful game reading it was from Sesazi. 
Kabugo again in the middle of the look at this from Kabugo. Mavin doing well there, but again, where was still trying to ensure they can get back into this game. Chiberu flexing there with Roger. Kavuma Mavin doing well in here. Ajuna Richard, look at this again. Some sweet, enticing football from Nek FC. Rashid Kanonia doing well there to put the ball out for a throw in. Bonnie, the substitute Okoya. Where we're getting set to make their second substitution. Abdul Karim Akasule is the player who has just come on for Derek Mudali. Jersey number seven in and Jersey number eight out. Let's see if Abdul Karim Kasule can use his experience to try and overturn this encounter in favor of his side, Luweru, United FC. Throw in here, Bonnie with the long one. Controlled by Chiberu. Look at this from Chiberu. Chance in here. Chance in. Let's see. Yeah! Denied again. Marvin. He is denied a hat trick. How did that miss out? Great a workout, an unselfish workout from Chiberu. A cross in here. That's the confirmation of a substitute. Kasule in, Mudali out. Marvin Kavuma misses out on a hat trick. That was a big chance. Very beautiful a workout, an unselfish workout. Look at this again. Marvin can't believe. Brother Chiberu can't believe. Look at this. That one from Bonnie. Great control from Chiberu. Using his physical body language to go past the defenders. Look at this from Marvin. That quick snapshot was brilliant. But again, the defense of Boris doing well to ensure he doesn't find a hat trick. Great defending in there. Because Woko Rush taking time, trying to juggle that ball. Reminding me of the late Abe Daiwa. May his soul continue resting in peace. A long one from Sesazi. See Marvin Kavuma now. Look at that from Marvin. Great skills from Marvin, the skipper. He's the final ball, of course, to try and find Sesazi. Wasn't the best, and the ball just went out for a throw in. Boris here. Sent to the long one, Boris. Cleared the way. Now, the new man on the pitch, Abdul Karim Kasule. Look at that again. Great defending it was there from a Bonnie. Throw in by Rogers. Rogers again. Ball is out, and a throw in for Neck FC. Great win, a motivational win it will be for Nek FC if they can manage to hold on with just a quarter, an hour to play here at the Bugolovi Coffee Ground, Mavin Kavuma. Ball cleared away by the skipper Kabugo. Chance for a counter-attack, Chiberu in here, tussling it out with Boris. Look at this from Boris and Chiberu. It was Julius Walugemba, I beg your pardon, not Chiberu. Physical battle, it was between Walugembe and Boris. Cleared away by the goalkeeper, Andrew Blair Aguma. Oh, that is that was good from the best of. Chiberu is in here, but ball still in control. Tebusweke deciding to go for short, but it's blocked by Angelo for a throw in. Time is not the best ally for Luero. Doing everything now in a rush to try and find probably something. And who knows? They could come back in this game if they can find that goal in these uh, minutes. Ajuna. Marvin. Ajuna. Marvin. Look at this from Marvin. That was sweet from Marvin. That was sweet from Marvin. <laughs> Brilliant football from the home side. 
Lake FC. <laughs> Look at that again, twisting and turning in the middle of the park. The new man, Regan Mukwaya. Boris with the free kick here now. The big Boris. A long one from Boris. Let's see. Poor communication between Wokorach and Okayo. I wasn't good. It, they lack communication. That's something they need to improve because there wasn't any opponent for Alueru. Corner kick for Luweru. Alan Tebusweke is the man to take this corner for Luweru. Swings it in Alan. Chance here for, but cleared away by Boni. Mavin Kavuma. It was Olugembe rather. Sekai. Trying to go past Kabugo. Plays it back Sekai. Chimwero. Chance for here, counter attack. Eraga brought down. Eraga is brought down by Mobutu. Quickly starts it, Eraga to Sekai. Rather to Tebu Sweke. Tebu Sweke goes for shot. But it's blocked away. Boris against Walugembe. Boris with Walugembe. Let's see. Boris doing well in there to try and contain him there. Walugembe. Goes for shoot, goes in for a cross, trying to look for Marvin. Ball is cleared away, falls to let's see. Gavi Mobutu plays it on the right to find. Let's see, not a happy man in there. Sekai, not a happy man. He feels that ball would have been returned to him. Now, let's see what Erago has to do in here. Plays it to find Tebu Sweke. Eragu. Tebu Sweke. Let's recover in here. Regan Mukwaya. Long boy in here. Let's see. Neck doing well to contain Azat in here. Abdul Karim Kasule now. Great searching boy it was, but greatly well read in there from Sesazi. Look at this again. With this possession in here in a sensitive area. But again, Mobutu doing well. Great game and Mobutu has had. Bossing that midfield. And passing intelligently. Mobutu Gavin. Uh, into the last 10 minutes of uh, this encounter that is coming your way live on FUFA TV and of course live on all our social media platforms from wherever you're watching us from across the world here live on our YouTube channel FUFA TV those are watching us on uh, Star Times it is channel 252 on Antin and of course channel 239 on Dish FUFA TV your home of Ugandan sports. Bonnie with the long free kick here. What well, a throw in, I beg your pardon. Marvin Kavuma. Mobutu. Find Sekai. Look at this from Sekai. Fickery player he is. Sekai again doing well here. But one two here. Walugembe holds it and finally finds Sekai. Look at this. Dancing, twisting, and turning. Interesting player, he is silky and fast. He is Farouk Sekai. As Luero, rather, the home side neck getting set to make their fourth uh, substitution. Let's see who will be coming on with just eight minutes to play here at the Bugolobi, a coffee ground. Jamil Achimwero is the player who was just a gone off. And Rajab Kakoza is the player who has been introduced. Quite a number of experienced players on at the neck bench. One of them, of course, is on Rajab Kakoza. And uh, Moses Okot is the other experienced uh, player. 
have been featured in at the start time to Uganda Premier League uh, for quite a number of teams. Talk about uh, Soltilo Bristers. Talk about Ondupa Raka FC. Chance in here for Abdul Kasule. He had all the time to control that ball, but decided to go for a quick shot that just hit uh, the side net. Talking about the neck bench, just like I was still. Of course, putting it up, Moses Okot featuring for quite a number of clubs in the start time to Uganda Premier League. Soltilo Bryce has on Dupa Raka. And of the now defunct Saint FC. Huge bags of experience in uh, Moses Okot. Featuring in for Acholi Province in at the Fufa Drum. And then a substitution for uh, Luero as uh, Musa Amogera uh, uh, comes on with just seven minutes to play. Can Neck FC hold on to this lead to return to winning ways. Look at this again. A ball hitting the sheen and that's going out for a throw in for Luero United. This was started by Angelo. Headed the way by Henry Bujingo. I was... Uh, Walugembe, confirmation of a substitute table. Sweke Alan is out and Mugerwa. Musa is in. Near the way by Ajuna. Not the best of clearances and the ball falls to uh, Rogers. A foul it was and yes, the referee says it's a free kick now for Luero. They need to make this count if they are to get back into this game. Marvin giving instructions to his troops. Already on the breast, and now five goals in uh, this season. Two shy of the leading scorer, Patrick Henry Kadu. It was a foul from that free kick, and now a free kick for Luer for Neck FC. They know it is in their hands, they know they got out what it takes to hold on to this match. Wakorach. James Brady. The long free kick here, Walker Rush. Headed away by Boris. Pressure by Chiveru. Finally cleared the way by Henry Bujingo. Possession is lost in a sensitive area. Where we're trying to find a consolation. Abdul Karim Kasule with two players to beat. Goes in for a cross. Let's see. It's the best of controls here. Isaac Balidusa. Isaac. Trying to go in for a cross, but great defending there from uh, Neck FC uh, players. Teamwork, I must say, it was. Skills, the coach of uh, Neck FC. Not a happy man in there. Clear the way. Yeah, position is lost in a sensitive area, but the referee says there was some bit of elbowing here. Player goes down in pain. Rashid Kanonia. This could result into a yellow card. Let's see from the replay. Look at this again. Yes, there was some bit of elbowing in here. That's not good. That wasn't good from Julius Walugembe. And the referee does no mistake to splash out that yellow card. That was a yellow card and the second of this encounter course with the first one falling to now the player who has been substituted Alan Tebusweke now the second yellow card of the match and the first for the home side the neck FC being displayed to the substitute Julius Awalugembe free kick for Luero United and that's the confirmation of uh, the yellow card shown to Julius Awalugembe long free kick here for Luero by Boris Chance in here for them to get back at least a consolation and a corner kick. And they make this count. Time is ticking. Cloak is ticking. Let's see what Musa Mugera can do from this corner kick. Swings it in. Chance in here, but not the best of corners. This is not what was expected. Imagine the number of players blowing in to try and see if they can get. Consolation. The best of delivery is Angelo. Look at this from Angelo plays and tries to find his goalkeeper, Walker Rush. The long one, Walker Rush. Let's see 
quick one to Chancey for Luero. Player goes down. Let's see what the referee has to say. Penalty is turned down. A penalty is turned down here for Luero. They can't believe. They believe there was some bit of contact, but let's see from the replay. Look at this again. Musa Mugweri. There was no touch. There was no contact, I must say. Musa Mugweri going down, trying to fetch the referee, but the referee was alert. All his focus was on that move. Two minutes of stoppage time. Can Nick hold on to this 2 0 lead? They have right now to return to winning ways. We are waiting to see. And they look clear that away. Again, clears it away, but not the best of clearances from Angelo Chi. The player goes down and a free kick. Boris quickly stacks it. Kabugo doing well to beat his marker. Marvin recovering well to regain position for the home side. Long searching ball here. Let's see. Ball goes straight into the hands of Andrew Blair and Guma. Chiveru is down. This might not look good in this situation. Andrew Blair and Guma. Referee telling him to calm down. We need to see from replays. The next medical team get onto the pitch to give attention. Look at this again. Let's see from the replay. Andrew Blair Aguma holding that win. Look at that again. No, there was no contact. There, yes, contact was there, but of course, Chiveru exaggerating at that a situation and scenario. A smile from the German trained coach, Luchamuzi Michael Steele. He is a happy man. Of course, uh, on his technical team, he is assisted by Semuyaba Bashir Abastu, a very knowledgeable coach, and one of uh, the football leaders in Amitiana district, Semuyaba Bashir Abastu. And of course, Mambo Abe, formerly a coach at Kamocha United, he is their fitness coach. During his uh, playing days, he used to play for Bell FC. Mambo Abe. Free kick here. And the fourth official, Anna Akoi, indicates a minimum of three minutes additional time. And of course, also a confirmation of a yellow card. Third of the match. And second for Luero United. Show to the goalkeeper, Andrew Blair Aguma, for that foul. I thought. It was simple, but to the referee, who is at the helm of this game, Teruhanga made no mistake, goes to splash out that yellow card. But that again cleared the way by Angelo. Luero trying to find a consolation. Marvin in the middle of the park, plays it to find Richard Ajuna. Ajuna trying to go past Rogers. Rogers pulling Ajuna. Referee says it's a throw in. the second minute of uh, the three added here at the Bukolovi coffee grounds. Pony with the throw in quickly to find Kakoza Rajab. Talking about Kakoza Rajab was also one of the products of the national uh, school game. During his school days he featured for Kakungulu SS in Bombo. Richard Ajuna swings in a sweet cross. But an easy one to uh, be turned by Andrew Blair Aguma. Ball cleared the way. Let's see. They can try to find a consolation. Musa Mugera brought down by Walu Gembe. Sekai, very entertaining player. He is Sekai. Brought down and a free kick in the last seconds of the match here at the Bugolomi Coffee Ground. at this again trickery player he is and very entertaining sekai look at that again trying to go past a forest of legs here for a rather from uh, the luero players right up with the long free kick here 
with a bit of free kicks and he's cleared the way. Chance here for Mugewa Musa. Kurosinia, let's see if they can find a consolation now. Kurosinia! Chance for a shot, but not the best of shots. This looks to be done and dusted. This looks to be the final chance of the game. Big, a big a win it will be for Lek FC to continue piling pressure on as the leaders, that is Chitara, of course the likes of Police FC. Wait for a full time here at the Bukolo Wikopi ground. Ready in the third minute of the other time. We're trying to squeeze for a consolation now. That is what it is here at the Bugolobi Coffee Grounds as the center referee, Bialuhanga Henry Barry, says enough is enough. At full time here, goals in the 68th minute and the 70th minute are from that gentleman and skipper are for NEC FC. Marvin Akavuma have ensured NEC FC return to winning ways, taking their tally to now 13 points from, that is, a six games. They are yet to concede a defeat here in front of their own backyard with them now managing two wins out of three games here at the Bukolobi, a coffee ground. A big win for them, a big win for their fans here at the Bukolobi, a coffee ground. At full time here, it remains NEC FC 2, Luero United FC nil. Let me hand you over to my brother, Isaac for full-time analysis here at Bukolobi Coffee Ground. Luel losing their game here at Bugolobi Coffee Grounds. Neke winning, coming back to their winning ways with the two we with the two nil against Luelo. Marvin Kavuma, the captain, coming to close the scoring with a second goal, giving a neck a three points. Topping the table with 13 points now in this match day six. They are match day seven, they will be going to Soloti. Soloti Monispo to face Soloti in the FUFA a big league. And Luelo will be hosting the so-called, and Luelo will be hosting the attacker in Luelo grounds, where they will be playing their match the seven. Uh, let me allow, allow me uh, to have the coaches. Uh, Coach Calvin Paul Mugerwa are from, uh, okay, sorry, Le let us start with the, the captain, Enoch are from Luelo United. Uh, welcome to FUFA TV. Uh, the game ended in favor of NEC 2-0. Uh, uh, you were coming from your last win, winning Lugazu 1-0, coming here, visiting uh, the NEC at the coffee ground, losing your game. What can you talk about the game? Um, all I can say is that we did our best. Um, all we should do now is focus on to the next game, because this is over. Da, yeah. m game 7, you'll be hosting, you'll be hosting Kataka. How do you rate that coming game? Uh, well, all we have to do is go back, correct our mistakes, do our best. Uh, then we have to approach that game better, better than the way we approach this one. I guess then we hope for the best. Okay, thank you. That was, uh, that was Captain Enoch uh, from uh, Luel United. Let me have Captain Marvin Kavuma uh, from NEC uh, Football Club. They have come back to their winning ways. Uh, welcome from the game. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you had a good performance in this game, yeah. uh, coming down from the loss you had in uh, Masindi, losing to Chitala. Yeah. Uh, how do you rate this uh, performance today? Yeah, we fairly performed. Um, I actually don't think we performed to our best, but we did what we were supposed to do to win the game. We, are ho we were home, we tried whatever we could, and we won the game. So this means a lot, because we also know we are going to go to Soroti and put up a performance in order to win. 
Yeah. You had a good start with uh, winning the three uh, games so far. Uh, you came back, you made a draw, and uh, coming to a lose to Chitala, uh, you're back on the table. As we talk for now, we don't know the results from Mbalara. Uh, but how can you talk about uh, your going back to the table? Um, we've always been at the top, even in the regional league, we were at the top. We want to always continue to be at the top. That's why we work hard, hard and hard each and every day of our training sessions to be at the top. Thank you. Can people say that you are flying high again? They can, but we always fly high. Okay, thank you. That was Captain Marvin Kavuma from NEC, the captain. Allow me uh, to have... Uh, yeah, uh, man of the match. Uh, there is a uh, man of the match uh, from NEC. Here, uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, a game that uh, ended in 2 a nil. A neck winning and Marvin Kavma, young man, uh, receiving uh, that uh, token as a man of the match uh, for today's game. Uh, and the appreciation to the team that has made it uh, to give. Allow me uh, to go to the coaches and I'll be having a coach, Amugerwa uh, Paul. Uh, I'll be having Coach Mugerwa Paul to give us more about how he has seen the game. Coach, welcome from the game. Okay, thank you. The 90 minutes ended losing, your side losing 2 0 against Neck. Yeah, we have lost the game, but that is not the end. This is a marathon, isn't it? This is a, a big league. We are 16 teams. But my last word it goes to the FUFA. As it is putting up this, you see the games are being aired all over the world. Eh? So let the FUFA also engage some cameras on the goals. And we see, because there are some things which happen which are not seen outside the game, outside the camera. So um, my humble request to the Federation, as it's putting up these games to the, to, the, to the air all over the world, let it at least have one camera or two to the goal. And they can refer, can refer to those cameras. As we see those up, up countries eh, or other world, eh? They are doing those things to see whether it's it a genuine goal or not. So we should also, as we are moving forward, let FUFA look into that thing. Uh, talking the about uh, the second half, uh, the first half you played well, uh, ending 0-0, uh, zero zero, but the second half, uh, some uh, where somewhere uh, things went wrong. Uh, you ended up losing uh, with the two goals loss. Yeah. So what went wrong in the second half? Uh, no, no, nothing went wrong. You know, game of football is a mistake. Eh? We made some errors in the defense. You saw how goalkeeper came. Eh? So when a team loses one, they, 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 they lose concentration. So it was only the other goal which goalkeeper came to the ball, but he was fouled when he was meeting the ball. So that is, that is my, my problem, where it came from. So that is what I'm complaining about. Uh, talking about your next game, that is a uh, match day seven, you are hosting Kataka. How can you and how ready are you to get that game? Uh, we are going back just to regroup ourselves, to train and see that we can win at our, home, our, our match at home. Okay, uh, thank you. That was Coach Calvin Paul Amugerwa, uh, the coach of Ruelo United. Allow me to have a uh, coach, uh, Skills Mike Jr. Chams. Uh, we talk about, uh, he has come back to the winning ways. Uh, coach, welcome to FUFA TV and welcome from the 90 minutes. Uh, rating, we start with the first, the first uh, half, the 45 uh, minutes. The game, uh, you were so disappointed with the boys. What went wrong? Uh, they came, uh, they were physical, and you know the long ball disturbed us a lot. Uh, they, 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 they played lots of the long ball, they tried to keep out the ball, and it brought, gave, gave us lots of problems. But now we talked about it in the second half, and then we, 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 we changed the strategy. So that's why we came different in the second half. In the second half, uh, you had uh, chances uh, to get win. Uh, we talk about uh, man of the match, Marvin Kavma, your captain, mm -hmm. uh, scoring the ceiling goal, the second goal, uh, to give you the three points. Yeah. He has scored two. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's one of our best players. He's our captain. He's really, really good. And I expected him to score, and he has done it. Yeah, it was a good game. We enjoyed mainly the second half. We tried to stop, to contain the long ball and pick the second balls, and then we play again pick the second balls and we play again. That's what we did in the second half. In the first half, it, it became hard. Could we say that uh, going back top on the table, uh, you were there to stay? Of course, of course. Of course, we are, we are, we are now, 
you yeah, know we, we are trying to pick up our momentum we have big ambitions i mean we don't know if we are going to be on top but we want to go to the big league and want to be to the super league and want to be champions of this league your next game you're going to soloti yeah. facing a uh, soloti uh what i'm getting soloti has lost their game to lugazi yeah. uh, what's uh, your target there uh, we are going to win we're going to win we want to win all our games and that, that's the, that's the best mission even when we go on our games our main aim is to go and win the game Okay, thank you, coach. Uh, that was a uh, coach Mike Skills, a uh, junior champs, uh, giving you more about how the game went. That was the 90 minutes. Uh, neck winning their game, coming back from the loss uh, that they had in Chitala, uh, winning them 2-0. They have managed to win Luel United 2-0. Allow me uh, to say that uh, this has been the day we shall meet tomorrow when Boma is playing against uh, the so uh, when Boma is playing tomorrow in Masindi. Let me sign out. My name is Mwang Isaac Zake Chilechankuba.